Girl, them edges just be gone. The hairline just be missing. And it's just like, what did I do? Who did I upset? Hey guys, welcome to my natural academia. And today's video is gonna be a Q&A. So I came to the realization that a lot of you guys don't really know me or who I am as a person. So I asked you guys on both my Instagram and my community post here on YouTube to ask me a few questions that you wanted to know about me. And today I'll be answering those questions. I actually got a lot of questions and I'm gonna try to not make this video too long. So I'm gonna try my best to answer the questions that I see popping up the most. So I'm sorry if I don't get to your question. You can always comment it down below and I'll be happy to answer. So I'm just gonna start off by giving you guys a brief analysis of myself. My real name is Doranda. I'm 19 years old. I attend the University of South Florida and my major is chemistry. Also, a few things that I feel like I should note because a lot of people ask me these questions is how long I've been natural and how often do I trim? I've been natural all of my life. However, I started taking care of my hair around 2014. So it's been about six years. 2021 will make it seven years since I've been taking care of my hair, but I've been natural all of my life. I've never chemically processed my hair. I've never gotten a perm. I've also never worn a weave or anything like that. So I've never really had to experience breakage or thin ends or anything like that. I've been natural all of my life, but my hair didn't start growing until I actually started taking care of it, which is why I like to say that I've been natural for six years, even though I've been natural all of my life. Six years ago, my hair was barely touching my ears and now I'm waist length. Also, I always get questions of people asking me how often do I trim. I've recently been trying to trim my hair at least once a year, but throughout my whole entire life, I've only trimmed my hair three times. I trim about one to two inches off my hair every December while well, I've been doing it for the past three years. And before that, I never trimmed my hair and it grew out pretty fine to me. I don't really believe in the whole trimming my hair every three to four months or every three to four weeks, however you guys do it. I don't think my hair gets damaged enough to do that to my hair. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I don't think that I need to trim my hair more than once a year. A lot of you guys want to know what my ethnicity is, where was I raised, and also where I was from. I'm 100% Haitian. I was actually born in Haiti, but I was raised in South Florida. Both my mother and my father and their parents and their parents' parents are also Haitian, so I'm 100% Haitian as far as I know. I can read, write, and speak the language. So as far as I know, I'm not mixed with anything but Haitian, and yeah, I'm 100% Haitian. A few of you guys wanted to know what inspired me to start doing YouTube videos. If I'm being honest, um, I started my YouTube channel because a lot of people were always asking me what I did to my hair to get it to the length that it was and also why it looks so healthy. So a lot of people were always asking me what I did to my hair. I just feel like sharing what I've been doing to help grow out my hair would probably be more helpful if I put it on a bigger platform instead of just answering every single person's question individually. I just wanted to help others achieve the same length or health in their hair as I have. You guys also wanted to know who inspired me to start making YouTube videos. I I want to say all the people that asked me what I did to my hair to get it to the length and how I got it to be so healthy and also my man's encouraged me to start a YouTube channel. He thought it'd be a good way for me to interact and help others achieve healthy hair. And I was also in search of a new hobby. I thought YouTube would be the perfect hobby for me because you know, I'm in control of my own time and how much I designate to YouTube. So I thought it'd be fun. And yeah, he also encouraged me as well as all the people that asked me about my hair. They also encouraged me to start a YouTube channel. A few of you guys also wanted to know, am I vegan? Um, I know I said in a previous video or a few videos ago that I eat a pretty healthy diet. I'm not vegan, but I do feel like I eat a pretty healthy diet. I'm not pescatarian, vegetarian, or any of that stuff. I'm just, I just eat a healthy diet. I eat a little bit of everything. I usually try to make everything myself instead of buying it outside. It's pretty cost effective to me. So when I say that I eat a pretty healthy diet, I mean like a, a healthy diet, not like in the sense that I only eat plants or plant-based foods. Yeah, I'm not vegan. Someone wanted to know what is my zodiac sign and do I think they coordinate with our lives? My zodiac sign is an Aries. I'm not really an astrology type of person. I don't really look into that type of stuff. And do I think they coordinate with our lives? Um, I really don't think they coordinate with our lives. When I look at the zodiac chart list and stuff like that with all the 12 signs, I read every single one of them and I find my characteristic traits in every single one of the signs. So I don't think that Aries is specifically designated to me and who I am. I don't think um, being an Aries excludes me from acting or behaving a certain way. I personally don't think that they coordinate with our lives, but you can believe what you want to believe and I'll believe what I want to believe. This is my own personal opinion. I'll just leave it at that. I'm an Aries and I don't really think they coordinate with our lives. Someone wanted to know what type of music do I listen to? I'm a pretty broad music listener, if that makes any sense. I listen to a little bit of everything, but the two main things that I love and I listen to the most out of all the genres of music is gospel and R&B. Someone wanted to know what my pet peeves are. I actually have a few pet peeves, to be honest. I hate the sound of ripping paper. It makes me feel like my body's tearing apart. I hate clutter. I hate when spaces are messy. I can't really think in messy spaces. 
And I also hate the sound of metal on glass. So like, you know, whenever you're eating and you have that little bit of food left on a glass plate and then your metal fork or spoon is just hidden on that. I hate the sound of that. I hate, I just hate it. It's annoying, you know? I just don't like the sound of those things. Those are my pet peeves. I don't know if that would be considered a pet peeve. Our pet peeves about people, there's not really much people can do to annoy me. I, I don't really get annoyed that easily. Someone asked what my favorite food is. It used to be chicken alfredo, but I made it so much to the point where I just hate it now. I think my favorite type of food is anything with pasta in it though. If I had to pick off the top of my head something that I eat like pretty much every day or something like that, it'd probably be noodles. I like making noodles. So yeah, I think my favorite food is noodles, but I like any type of pasta. Someone wanted to know what my favorite hobbies are. A few things that I really like to do on my free time is read and I also like to plant plants or plant seeds to create plants. I don't know if that makes any sense but i really enjoy taking care of plants and i really like to read well if you care to know my favorite genre of books to read is crime and mystery my favorite author is james patterson someone wanted to know what are some of my talents when i took drawing seriously a couple years ago i used to draw people for fun and stuff like that but now i don't really do it as much because it's not really something i enjoy doing it's just a talent that goes to waste because I don't use it. I feel like if I took drawing seriously, it'd probably take me places in life, I really do. That's pretty much the only thing that I can think of off the top of my head. If someone wants to know what my favorite shopping store is, the only place I feel like I shop nowadays is the thrift store. I really enjoy going thrifting, especially by myself. I love thrifting. And this actually, this top is from the thrift store. It's a Gap shirt. It cost me $4, girl, okay. This is really nice and it cost me $4. I love thrifting. Thrifting is my favorite place to shop. And it's good for the environment too. Someone wanted to know, am I an introvert or an extrovert? I'd consider myself an introvert to be honest. I don't really talk much to people that I don't know. I, I just hate communicating with people, especially when I'm in big gatherings. I'm not one to like go up to people and start talking. And when I meet new people, I don't really talk unless I'm spoken to. I'd rather stay to myself and be a bit more reserved. I hate I don't want to say I hate people, I just don't like communicating with people. I would prefer to be by myself than with others or in big group gatherings. Even if I'm in a place where there's so many people, I'll go find the corner and stand there alone. I'd prefer to do that instead of making friends. If you see me in public, nine times out of 10, I'll be by myself. Honestly, so far in college, I've made three friends and two of those friends I work with. I mean, I'm forced to have to communicate with them, but otherwise I probably wouldn't even have a friend. People are weird out here, okay? People are weird, people are weirdos. A good amount of people are actually asking me where would I like to travel? I'm not really big on planes, but if I had to choose somewhere where I'd like to travel anywhere in the world, it'd probably be my home country because I haven't been there since I left. So I'd probably go there. I'm not really interested in anywhere else. Someone asked, do I have any siblings? Actually, a lot of people ask me if I have uh, like siblings at all. I have a lot of siblings. I have a total of nine siblings. I have four biological siblings and five step siblings. So in total, I have three brothers and the rest are sisters. So I don't know how many sisters that is. Someone asked, where do I see myself in the next six months on YouTube? Um, to be honest, I don't really see myself doing many hair videos of me touching my own hair because in real life I don't touch my hair at all. I only recently started touching my hair because of this channel. If I had to count the total amount of days I leave my hair out for the year on a regular, aside from my wash days and stuff, it'd be a total of like 12 days. But honestly, before YouTube, I never touched my hair unless I was washing or moisturizing it. I feel like starting this channel has forced me to have to touch my hair a lot and show you guys a lot of the things that I do to my hair. But in the next six months of YouTube, I don't really plan on doing a lot of that because I feel like I would have already shown you guys all that I do to my hair. So there's no point of recreating it unless I do something drastically different with my routine. I mean, my plan in the next six months on this channel is uh, not necessarily to rebrand, but I'm going to be doing a lot more commentary type videos instead of me always touching my hair every time I'm on camera. My, I already don't, but I don't really want to have to touch my hair all the time. It's just a hassle and too much work. For me, it might not be a lot of work to you, but it's a lot of work for me, okay? Someone asked, do I watch anime? And if so, what is my favorite show? I actually get this question a lot, but I do watch anime. The name of this channel was actually derived from an anime series. And that series is called My Hero Academia. Yeah, you get it, My Natural Academia, My Hero Academia. That's where the name of this channel is derived from, an anime series. But if I had to choose my own favorite animes that I like, it wouldn't be My Hero Academia, surprisingly. 
But my favorite anime is Full Metal Alchemist because that was the first anime that I ever watched and it was actually amazing. I loved the Full Metal Alchemist. Also, another one of my favorite animes is Attack on Titans. I really love the storyline and I just loved everything about that show. I really enjoyed watching it. Those are my two favorite animes. Someone asked, am I a Christian and do I have children? No, I don't have children, but I am a Christian. I do consider myself a believer in Christ. Someone wanted to know when my birthday is. I was born on April 6th and yeah. Someone wanted to know, am I single? And no, I'm not. Someone wanted to know, can I play any instruments? Yes, I can play two instruments or can I play the second instrument? I really don't even know. But I used to play the saxophone when I was in high school, I was in marching band. I also used to play the bassoon, but I only played the bassoon for like six months. So I don't even really know how to play it, but I used to play it at the time. Is that even considered being able to play? Who knows? I can play the saxophone better than I can play the bassoon, but I did play both instruments at some point. All right, so some of these questions are getting a little long. So I'm gonna be reading them on my iPad, which is down here. It's in my hand. So I'm gonna be reading them. Um, I don't want you guys to think, oh my gosh, she won't look at the camera because she's a little scared. No, I'm reading the questions. This question says, what are your plans for the future, school-wise, work-wise, moving out, and love life? Y'all wanna know a lot. Uh, in regards to school for the future, I wanna graduate within the next seven years. Um, I don't ever plan on going to grad school. I don't ever plan on going back to school after I finish. I really don't care to go back to school. I am a chemistry major, but on the pharmacy track. Within these next seven years, I plan on having a pharmacy degree and never going back to school. And working at a job within my field. In regards to work, I actually have a job right now. I have an on-campus job and I'm an office assistant. I'm not gonna say I hate the job, but you know, I don't know if my supervisor will be watching these videos. So I'm, I'm just not going to say anything about that, but it'd be nice to have another job that pays me a little bit more for what I do. But you know, it's fine. It's fine, it's okay. In regards to moving out, um, technically speaking, I moved out of my hometown about a year ago, over a year ago actually, I moved out of my hometown. I've been living on my own, however, in this apartment for the past three months. Has it been three months yet? Almost four months, I think it's been. I moved out of my university dorm and then I moved into this apartment. And I think it was the best decision I could ever make for myself because I hate, <sighs> let me stop saying I hate people. I love people, okay guys? I love people. I just don't like being around people. People are disgusting and they're raised trash. You know what? I'm gonna make a video about my dirty roommates so y'all can see what I be having to deal with because I take pictures of everything, okay? Let me know if y'all wanna see a video of me talking about my um, disgusting roommates because pictures do not lie. People do, but pictures do not, okay? What was I even talking about? Oh, moving out. Yeah, I pretty much moved out already living here alone, pay my own rent, pay my own bills. I don't get no help from nobody but myself in my own pockets. So yeah, pretty much already moved out. In regards to my love life, um, plans, oh, plans for the future in regards to my love life. Well, I would like to get married at some point in the future. I would like to have children at some point in the future. I don't know how to answer this question. <laughs> like, I'm not really sure how to answer this question in regards to my love life and the future. In the future, it'd be nice to get married. It'd be nice to have some children. But that's what I would like to do in regards to my love life. I'm not really sure what you meant by that question. A lot of you guys are leaving some really nice comments. I really appreciate that. I really do see them, but I'm trying to limit this video to only being questions. But some of you guys are just being really, really nice. Someone actually said, not a question, but I like the fact that you showcase your natural beauty face hair and you do not wear makeup. I mean, my hair is not really out right now, but you know, I feel like if I come really, really close to the camera, you guys will see all the spots on my face, but honestly, I really don't care. A face is a face and a face is gonna do what faces do, which is break out. But thank you for noticing. That was really sweet of you to say. Someone asked, was there ever a frustrating time in your hair growth journey, like a time where you weren't seeing growth? Honestly, I never really wore my hair out enough to see or track my growth. So there was never really a point where my hair was just not growing, but, I do find that whenever I get too stressed, maybe from school or just my personal life, my hairline will literally just fall out of my head and it's the most annoying thing. I'm actually in the process of growing back my hairline right now. Girl, the edges just be gone. The hairline just be missing. My whole hairline just goes missing. And it's just like, what did I do? Who did I upset? It takes about five months for my edges to fully grow out. And then I get stressed for a week and the whole thing just falls off. So that's probably the most frustrating thing that happens to me well, throughout my whole hair, hair growth journey, to be honest, like my hairline just falls off. Well, actually, let me show you guys right now. Like, yeah, this is my hairline, guys. And it fell off not too long ago. But y'all don't really see it because I don't let my hair out that much. This is what happens every time I get stressed. My hairline just falls off and 
That's probably the most frustrating thing that happens to me in my hair growth journey. I've actually never shown you guys this before, but I've been dealing with this for the past four months. They're almost fully, no, they're not. I don't really have any baby hairs. So this isn't really considered baby hairs to me. This is my actual hair, my actual full grown hair that just fell off <sighs> due to stress. And it's just upsetting me and my homegirls because I ain't got no more edges. To answer your question, that's the most frustrating thing that happens to me during my hair growth journey. Whenever I get stressed, my hairline just falls out of my head, but it usually always grows back. Like it's growing back right now. It used to be way shorter. I just hate it. It happens every time. It happens probably like two or three times a year where my edges just falls out of my head. It's annoying. A lot of people were actually asking me, is college as hard as a lot of people make it seem? Um, is it hard? Yes and no. It's really easy to fail, but not that hard to pass. There's always gonna be that one person in your class that gets an A. So if that person can get an A, you can get an A too, okay? In my opinion, I really just feel like it's a, all a matter of time management. If you can manage your time enough to give every single class your attention, your full undivided attention, in regards to like turning in work or like having time for yourself to study, it's going to run pretty smoothly. It's gonna be pretty easy. A few people asked me to spill the tea on my head wraps. Do you guys wanna know how I do my head wraps or where do I buy them from? I have a video of where I'm showing you guys how I wrap my favorite head wraps but y'all ain't watch it and it's okay because y'all gonna keep asking me this question but i'm gonna link it down below if you're interested i live in florida so i get all of my head wraps from a store called ross and dd's discounts those are the only places where i get my head wraps from and let me see if i can show you guys this drawer just basically have all of my head wraps and i just organize them here and whenever i'm wearing an outfit that goes with one of my head wraps i just wear a head wrap a lot of you guys know that i wear my big braids Whenever my big braids are looking rough like they are right now, I throw on a headscarf and all my headscarves are in here. And I got them all from Ross and Dee Dee's discounts. Someone asked, am I planning on continuing to grow my hair or am I satisfied with my length? Satisfaction? Is that the right word for the way that I'm feeling? I don't know. I wouldn't say that I'm satisfied or not satisfied with my length. I'm very grateful for the amount of length that I've been able to retain these past couple years. I wanna see how long my hair can grow. So I don't really ever plan on cutting my hair. This is the longest my hair has ever been my whole entire life. So I'm trying to see how much longer I can get it to grow. So I don't really plan on ever cutting my hair. It's not that I'm not satisfied with my length. I just want to grow my hair out. Someone said you seem like somebody that's so cool and so easy going. My question is, why are you so amazing? I don't know. Why am I so amazing? Here I am being conceited. Thank you for that comment. That was really sweet. Someone wanted to know what my hair porosity is. I should have probably said this in the beginning of the video, but my hair is relatively high in porosity. So I moisturize my hair as such. So whenever I moisturize my hair, I over moisturize it sometimes because I know the moisture, if I moisturize my hair a little bit, it's not really gonna last as long as I want to. So I moisturize my hair more than I should a lot of the times because I just know my hair and how it reacts to moisture. But the way that I moisturize my hair wouldn't be ideal for somebody with lower porosity hair. Oh, uh, a lot of these comments are just getting nicer and nicer. I'm really trying to find questions, but there's so many nice comments. How can I not say them? Someone said they really like how I haven't used profanity so far in my content. Yeah, I really try not to curse. I think it's not really uh, a cute trait to have, especially when you're speaking to a, a bunch of people. And I don't really like to throw all that negative energy into the world and stuff like that. I feel like it's a bad, example i like to watch my mouth and what i say to others so i'd suggest that you guys do the same i don't think it's a cute trait to have to just curse all the time but that's just my own opinion you go ahead and do you boo if that's what you like to do go ahead and do you someone asked when my hair was short what was my routine um my routine was pretty much what i do today i just braid my hair wash it every couple months however many months i want to wait to wash it and then do it over and over and over again um, that was what I do when my hair is short. The only thing that I do differently now is I wear big braids instead of doing mini twists and mini braids. I used to do mini twists and mini braids, but I do bigger braids now because if I do mini twists or mini braids for long periods of time, my hair will start locking up for some reason. So I don't do mini twists or mini braids anymore, but I do big braids. I didn't used to do big braids when my hair was shorter because the hairstyle just didn't look cute. It didn't look nice. So yeah, when my hair was shorter, I only wore mini twists and mini braids, nothing else. This person also asks, what tips do you have for aspiring YouTubers to balance school and work life? Something that I personally do that helps me a lot in terms of balancing my school and YouTube life is to just set specific dates where I record and edit my videos. 
I have a calendar where I write all the days I'm gonna be studying, all the days where I have assignments due. And um, that helps me to be much more organized when it comes to my schoolwork, as well as my YouTube life. Oh my gosh, what type of question? Oh my gosh, this is funny. But somebody said, do you feel cute in uni when you're wearing these same hairstyles for long periods of time? Cute for who? I have a man. I don't be going to school to look cute for nobody. I don't care what people say about me. I wanna say nine times out of 10, I always have my hair in a scarf whenever I go to school. Whenever I go out in public in general, I always tie my hair. So I don't care what people gotta say about my, what they gonna do? They gonna kick me off that campus cause I got a scarf on. I really don't care about what people has to say about me. Like that's one thing about me. I don't care what somebody has to say. Go ahead and talk your ish. It ain't gonna say to my face. Oh my god, I sound really mean right now, but I really don't care what people have to say about what's on my head because in this PWY, these caucuses be looking worse. Someone asked, do I work out because they need some weight loss advice? Um, I do work out from time to time. I work out in my apartment complex. So there's like a gym here. Right now it's not open, but I like to work out there. I'm not really that big of a person. Do I look big to y'all? Let me show y'all how I look because I don't know. Hopefully y'all don't judge me. I'm not that big of a person, guys. This is how I look. I'm like really skinny. And this is just a big sweater that I have on right now. But I'm not really that big of a person in real life. I'm very small. So I'm not really sure what advice I can give to you guys on, um, well, I'm not really sure on what advice I can give to you on losing weight because I'm not, I, I don't really, I've never really had to, um, I've never really had to lose weight my whole entire life. This is the biggest I've ever been and I'm only like 150 pounds. This person commented, you said in one of your videos that you used to have scalp problems. How did you cure it? Because I'm currently suffering from scalp issues myself. When I was younger, I used to have scalp issues um, pretty much my whole life before I started taking care of my hair. So up until the age of 12 or 13, I had scalp issues and it really caused my hair to not grow. Whenever I'd be doing my hair and stuff, my whole scalp would just come off with it. I really don't know the name of what it was that I was dealing with, but um, there was a person that cured it for me. I don't know her name or where she is or how she did it, what herb she used, but she did a herbal treatment on my hair one time. And after that day, I kid you not, I've never had scalp issues ever again. I suggest looking into herbal treatments, but I really don't know what herbs she used in my hair. I have absolutely no way of contacting her. I haven't seen her since that day. I'm grateful that she came into my life because if not, I'd probably still be dealing with that scalp issue today, but she helped cure my scalp. I don't really know what she used to cure it, but I know that she did do a herbal treatment on my hair. Someone asked, do I have any pets? No, I do not have any pets. I only have plants. I am a plant mom. I am not a pet mom. I have a lot of plants actually. Someone said, your lips are always popping. What do you use on them? Um, I think I got this from my local Dollar Tree or something like that. It cost me a dollar. I know it cost me a dollar. And this is just how the lip gloss looks like. And that's what I use on my lips. And also I use Vaseline. This is what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. But sometimes um, whenever I need that extra shine, you know, I like to use I like to use lip gloss that I get from the Dollar Tree. It cost me a dollar and the Vaseline cost me like a dollar fifty from Target. Someone said, describe my personality in a few words. I'm very observant, reserved, and I like to make people laugh a lot. So um, I feel like that sums up who I am as a person. I guess when you get to know me, like know me, know me, like I really like to laugh and I like to make people laugh. And I, I see everything, okay? I be very observant and I'm pretty reserved because I don't really like talking to people that much. Someone asked what my favorite color is. My favorite color is green, guys. I love the color green. Green is my favorite color. I feel like it looks beautiful on me. So let's insert a beautiful picture of myself in the color green because I just love the color green so much. I love it. And people don't know, like brown and green looks so good together. You know, my skin is brown and green. Like, come on now. I love the color green. Someone said, have I ever experienced any negative things about my hair or skin color? I experienced a lot of negative things regarding my hair and skin color all the time. When my hair was shorter, like I'd get misgendered so much because I looked like a little boy or whatever. And I had this one teacher who called me young man and sir for six months. Girl, but I never really said anything about it, but I used to get bullied so much about my hair and skin, which is probably why I am so reserved nowadays. I just don't feel the need to show people my hair at all. When my hair was short, people used to bully me and stuff, misgender me, call me a little boy, call me ugly. You know how they do when people start bullying. They're just rude for no reason, no absolute reason at all. And now that my hair is going longer, 
like whenever I leave my hair out in public spaces and stuff, I get a few comments of people saying like, why am I bragging or why am I doing this and that? And it's just like, that's probably why I don't feel comfortable wearing my hair out all the time because people like, I get a lot of comments from people saying that I, I'm bragging and stuff when I'm really not bragging. And also I'm not even really that dark, but I've always been put in a lot of situations where I was the darkest person in the room. And that, that'd always be noted by people. People would always comment and make note of how dark I am and shove it in my face, call me ugly and stuff. But it's okay. Cause you know, we're confident now, we don't care. If somebody asks why some things that I often see in the comment section and does it affect me? Girl, yes, oh my gosh. I was talking about this to my sister a couple weeks ago and I get so many comments from all these people telling me about my hair type. And it's so crazy. A lot of people are like, oh, you're not 4C, which is why I don't use the 4C title anymore. I, I looked into the whole hair typing system and I completely just hate it now. But so many people like to tell me what's on top of my head. Girl, is it on top of your head? Does it grow out of your scalp? No, it does not grow out of your scalp. So why are you, or how do you feel um, entitled to tell me what's growing out of my scalp? Just cause your hair is dry and you don't know how to moisturize your hair doesn't mean that my hair is not a certain way. You know what I mean? Whew, it's getting me heated. It's getting me heated again. Cause I used to, I used to give these people my attention until I spoke to my sister and she was basically just like, these people don't know you. These people don't know your hair. They've never touched it. All they can see is like through the camera screen and through the camera screen, through their phone screen. They, that's all they can see of my hair. So I don't really blame them for, for being so ignorant and naive, but it really does get to me sometimes when people like to label my hair for me. Is it growing out of your head? Girl, is it growing out of your head? It gets me so heated because I've gotten to a point in position in my life where I know how to take care of my hair. And you feel like because you don't know how to take care of your hair, your hair can't do a certain thing that my hair is not a certain texture and stuff like that. And another thing that I wanted to make a whole different video about it's just like when people with short hair like to dictate and comment about people with longer hair, short and long hair looks different short and long hair are not the same. So you wait till your hair gets to my length and you tell me how your hair looks. Okay, I'm not even gonna get into it. But yeah, the comments that really bother me or irk my soul sometimes when I see them, I mean, I'm still gonna like them because you know, you kill hate with kindness. But the comments that really bother me are people mislabeling or labeling my hair as something that's completely not telling me how I should take care of my hair when what I've been doing my whole entire life has been working for me. Like girl, it ain't growing out your head. I'm here to show you guys how, what I do to my hair and how I grew it out and like anything that's beneficial to me that I think that you guys will benefit from, that's what I'm here to do. I don't know why you feel so excited to tell me what grows out of my head. If you want to make a video on YouTube about hair and your hair and why I'm not what I say that I am, you go ahead and make a YouTube video instead of sitting behind no comments, sitting behind your phone and commenting all these rude things. I'm gonna leave it at that because I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get so heated. But that's pretty much it. That's all the comments I'm gonna answer for today because I know this video is already very long and the longer the video, the longer it's gonna take me to edit this video. So I'm just gonna stop there. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. This is the third time that I'm recording this. If you guys saw my Instagram or my community post, I accidentally deleted the last video that I recorded of this, but it's fine. It's okay because, you know, that ain't gonna stop this video from going up. I really appreciate you guys for clicking on this video and watching. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about anything that I said in this video at all, you can go ahead and comment it down below or go to my Instagram and ask me there. But yeah, I don't really post on there, but I'm trying to post, guys. I'm trying to be consistent, but it's hard having to record, edit, make sure that I'm here on YouTube, reply in the comments, make sure I'm Instagram. Like all this social media stuff is just really overwhelming sometimes, which is why I might be a little late when it comes to replying to comments. Once again, I really appreciate you guys for clicking on this video and watching and I'll see you guys next time.